Good morning. Today I'm going to do a job that I've been putting off for months. Not because it's a hard job. It just involves lying underneath the car. And who enjoys lying under a car? Anyway, I'm going to be replacing my speedo bullet in the transmission. I've got a bit of a leak. But it's a nice day. I've got nothing else to do. So I guess it's time to bite the bullet. For this little task, I will require some or all of the following. Floor jack and axle stands. Wheel chocks. Appropriate wrench. Persuading devices. That to get the old billet off. That to get the speedo cable on. Oil related items. New transmission fluid. Because you will lose some. A little funnel. Something to catch the, the leak. And of course a rag. Latex gloves would be recommended, but I don't have any. And of course, a replacement billet. Let me talk about this. This is a Speedo billet from a TH350. Its sole purpose in life is to insert your Speedo cable in that end, and then it rotates this and turns a gear so that you know, well, it works in reverse. This turns and then that turns, and it tells you what speed you're doing. Now, there's two possible leak potentials of this little device you can see that rubber seal there obviously that's a potential leak there's a cut out there and that's for the clamp that holds it in place so that would get inserted into your transmission and this area is exposed in the outside so any leak any fluid getting past that is going to just dribble down here so that's one leak the other leak potential is in there these are replaceable depending on what gear ratio you've got or what speedo you've got, whatever. I think this is incorrect for what I have, but I do have my little gear drive still in the car, which I will try. I think it's new. Now, a lot of people, when they're tightening their speedo cable on and it leaks out of here, they just tighten this further, but that's not going to help. That is not a liquid seal. That is purely to connect your cable on. The most important seal is in there. This goes in here, and you can hear it click in place, and it shouldn't come out. It should rotate freely, but it shouldn't just slide in and out without a bit of resistance. So it's generally that rubber seal there that gives you trouble. However, I've seen people replace that seal, and it still doesn't work, and they're like, well, what's going on? The problem is this section here can actually wear down, and it, it kind of tapers in the way. You know what I mean? So if this isn't perfectly straight, then it's not really going to do any good on that end. As I say, I think I've got a new one of these to put into this device. The problem I've got is I couldn't find a seal replacement. Anyway, that's what that does. Let's fit it. Let's get underneath, see where this thing lives. So I currently have a plug. Well, obviously it's a clutch alignment tool, but it does the job. It's attached a bit of hose, which goes to there. And why is my torch not working? There we go. So I need to remove that clip to get access to my bullet.
probably a good thing to get the rag in position and also your little cup or whatever to catch any fluid that's going to pee out. I'm hoping that because I've jacked the car up at this side, the fluid's going to lean that way. I forgot the fluid that was in this, it just poured all over me. Isn't that nice? So that's the threads I showed you, and that's a little, looks like a 10 mil, maybe a 3 8 bolt that I need to remove. Ten millimeter, that's slightly, slightly smaller, it probably is a 3 8 but it's not mega tight, so I'm not worried about rounding it. And that's the little tab and bolt that holds the bullet in. Okay, this is where the fluid is going to come out because once I remove the bullet, there's nothing but a big gaping hole there. The only thing holding it in at the moment is Hopes and dreams. It's that little rubber seal that I showed you before. Okay, that's it. About to come out. I'm expecting fluid. Oh yes, and I missed. I missed. I'm going to have a puddle in my driveway again. Right, let's take this bullet into the garage and we'll inspect it. So, this is what it looks like in the inside. Slightly different from this one. You see there's a black seal there that's not sitting flush. This one doesn't seem to have that black seal. You see the red seal? Well, for a start, that shouldn't do that. It should do that. Right? But I don't think... I don't think the white gear is the problem because I think that's new. I think it's just that seal. So hopefully, if I take this out, throw that in the bin, give this a bit of a clean. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use. And it should slide in and then click. Oh, yeah. Nice. So that's hopefully going to solve my problem. I know this one looks a bit rough on the outside, but I think it's actually got new seals in there. That looks way nicer than what I've got. Okay. Let's reinstall. Back under the car. Right. I want to give this chamber a little wipe. You don't want bits of grit getting in there with your with your new bullet. Now, when we're inserting this, because it's trying to mesh with a, another plastic gear, you don't want to ram it in. You also want to line up your, your flat section of your tab, that bit there, with this. So just a bit of a wiggle. A wee turny wurney. And we should be almost there. I'm not convinced. Because this rubber seal is only getting flush with the housing. Let's see where the tab lines up. And if the tab's looking good, then I think we're all the way in. This is fiddly with one hand. Yeah, that looks about right. Tighten that up and it will just push the, 
the billet in just a little bit further. Yeah, that's going in. I don't think it would go in that far if the gear wasn't meshing. And that should be that. Now, theoretically, I should be able to drive about without anything attached to that and nothing should come out. But since I'm here, I'm going to attach my speedo cable and then we can grab the other side of the speedo cable and make sure it's turning freely. Okay, we're finished under here, hopefully. Now, I was going to grab a pair of pliers and try and spin that cable. However, if you think about it, you're not supposed to be able to spin that cable from here. That's supposed to receive a revolution from the gearbox. So I don't want to risk breaking that by spinning it. So, need to install my Speedo, go for a drive. Right, Speedo installed. Now, I do have a new, well, when I say new, I mean older, but working speedo to install. This one kind of works, but it's a bit jerky. Should work enough to know if we've connected the cable properly. So let us go. movement but the needle's doing something we should also check for a big puddle of oil under the car oh talking of which i need to top up the transmission fluid all clear under there probably because i've you know not topped it up and it's empty right let's have a look at this other speedo this is the one that needs refurbed as you can see it's kind of old and dirty and it's slightly bigger than one I've got uh, I have a problem here though this is designed for the clip-on cable and I've got a screw-on cable so I'm not going to be able to try that for now that's unfortunate so what I think I'll do is just go for another wee drive to make sure that noise is definitely gone I'm pretty sure it was just just the dodgy speedo Right, so that was pretty easy and it seems to have worked. I will do the speedo refurb on another video. For today, it is round four of the PP game. If you're new to the channel, the PP game is the past profession game where I give you multiple choice on what sort of job I had in the past. 
on the last round, a few people got it right. I gave you the choice of bus driver, travel agent, or gardener. I was, in fact, a travel agent. Briefly, it was part of my travel and tourism course at college. Yeah, travel agent. In fact, that picture that I posted up, that is the actual branch I worked in. Right, on to today's question. Was one of my past professions A, a plumber's apprentice, B, a wedding limousine driver, or C, a donkey attendant? Make sure you leave your answer in the comment section below, A, B or C, to be in with a chance to win a Scott Rhodes t-shirt, a Scott Rhodes coffee mug and two Scott Rhodes stickers. Thanks for watching everyone and thanks to Mike Childs who sent me that speedo bullet, much appreciated. Bye bye.